everyone. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of Media Voices on Prince Media Television. In today's episode, we have an exclusive interview with officials from the URSB. Today's topic, we are going to talk about why as a Ugandan, you need to register your marriages or your businesses. Joining me today in today's episode of Media Voices on Prince Media Television, as we speak to an official from the URSB, to find out why, as a Uganda, you need to register your marriage. You are watching Media Voices on Prince Media Television. On Facebook, we are Prince TV. YouTube, we are Prince Media Television. And those on TikTok, we are Prince Media Television. For those that can't watch us, you can follow us on Spotify or SoundCloud. We are Prince Radio. Uh, my name is Charles Benjamin Simbi Kawugujo. I am the manager of civil registration at Uganda Registration Services Bureau. And you are most welcome, our viewers. We are glad to be with you. And uh, we are most grateful to you, Dale, for this opportunity for Prince Media to be helping us to take this message out. Now, um, I said I'm the manager of civil registration. And civil registration, among other things, uh, at URSB, we are responsible for registration of marriages and we are also the ones who are in charge of the National Marriage Registry, okay. where all marriages conducted in this country, in this country. ought to be registered. registered. So, um, if your marriage is not registered in the National Marriage Registry, if it is not there in the National Marriage Registry, you're going to have a few challenges mm -hmm. about proving it legally. Okay. Yeah. On as a, a Ugandan, mm -hmm. from maybe if I'm coming from Kavali, why should I register my marriage with URSB? Um, first of all, mm -hmm. it's because there are several different marriages in this country. Okay. You can get married by Yokohingia, customary marriage, you mm -hmm. can get married in church, you can get married in, as a Hindu in a Hindu temple, you can get married as a Muslim, Nika. Now, since you can get married in any of those ways, they are requires one place, one central place where all marriages can be put. Otherwise, they will, you might get married today and move mm. to Arua and you marry someone else in a nikah, or you become your Muslim, you become saved, you marry someone else, and it will all be confusion. Mm. So, please, the first benefit of registering a marriage mm. is that all marriages are in the same place. Okay. and everybody can check on who is married and who is not married. Actually, we advise young people like you, before you get married and you are getting planning for getting married, please check and ensure that the yeah, person you want to, the you person to get married, married to, to is not, not already married, okay. does not already have a what? A marriage. Now, the second mm. thing which happens, or which is important for you to, to, to register, mm. is the way you register for your O level, for your A level, with your name. The National Marriage Registry mm. is the name of marriages. Okay. When you get married in a church, mm. or in a mosque, mm. or in a nikah, or in a customary, kuhinjira, kuanjura, yeah. the government doesn't know. Mm. Just like when you study in your school, in Ibutovere, or in Ibuddo, okay. the government doesn't know mm. until, until you sit register. Me. And how do you do that? You register with your name. Your name. Okay. So here, when you get married in whichever church, mosque, temple, or customary, mm. if you don't register, then your neighbor doesn't know you. That is the whole challenge. So you are married, mm. like you went to school, yes, you can tell people, I went to school, I have this report from Buto Vere. Yeah, okay. But if you don't have an olive oil, you cannot tell anybody that you said what? That is right. So the second thing that registering a marriage does for you, mm. offers you legal proof. Because once you get a certified copy from the Register of Marriages, which is URSB, mm. then anywhere, whether it is a court of law, it's an embassy, it is NSSF, it is an administrator general, they will agree that you are married. Okay? That you are a husband and you are a wife under the law. Mm. What are some of the requirements that are needed for one or for any Ugandan to register their marriages? In central, it is a, one of the simplest things you can do. Mm. For instance, if you get married in a church, you just have to make sure that that church has got a license. Remember like a school? 
You don't want to sit your own way from the school, which does not have a center now or something. So before you get married in a church, please ensure that the church is licensed. It has a number from you are like I'm saying. You, you want church to be licensed. Now if a church is licensed and you get married there, that church makes returns to the national marriage district, to URSB. Okay? So you don't have to do anything. You get married in a church, they will make the returns and you can only go back to the church to get your acknowledgement slip. The way you went back to school to get your certificate, certificate of your name. Okay? Your name gave you a pass slip, gave you a certificate. So when you get married in a church, it files the returns and then we give them acknowledgement slips. So your only job is to go to your church where you go to married and say what is my acknowledgement slip from government that time. Now if you get married in, by Nika, again the Imam will send a copy of that certificate, gives you two certificates, he will send a copy to the Tuare and from the Tuare it will come to either Supreme Council or Chibu. And the Supreme Council and Chibuli both file here. Again, all you have to ask the Imam is where is my what? Acknowledgement. The fees for filing are 35,000. That's all you have to pay. You never, when you are sitting, even P7, I think you pay about 40, 50,000. All of you pay over 100,000. But for marriages, you pay 30, 35. That is to register with us. If you want a certified copy, like if you went to your neighbor now, if you wanted a certified copy, of, if you are going to stand for politics, they will ask for a certified copy. You go to your neighbor and you pay fees and they give you a certified copy. The same here. If you go to an embassy and you want to travel with your spouse, they will ask for a certified copy of your marriage certificate. And then you can come or you can send it on email and they send you back. Again, you pay another one. 35,000. So that means that if I want a certified copy of my marriage certificate, mm. I pay an extra 35,000. Yes. Okay. But for filing, for just making the returns, it is 35,000. So you will get the certified copy when you need it. Mm. But when you file, we give you an acknowledgement. A slip which says you have filed your marriage with your SP. Now, the most challenging one of filing or registering, what, what I call filing is what is registering. The most, uh, probably the most tedious is the customary marriage. Because you see all these other marriages, there is a registrar, the priest, the imam, the lead of the temple. If it is a civil marriage, yeah, DC, there is the cow. So all those ones have to go file. But for customary marriage, it is done at your home. So now from there, Mm. You need to go to the Gongora, to the sub-county chief. It's the sub-county chief of where the function has taken place who registers customary marriages. So when you reach there with your spouse, you give you a government certificate, you will sign it with your spouse and your witnesses, you will sign and sign it and give you a copy. copy. Then he will bring a copy back to marriage registration. All that is done to ensure that your marriage is legal and legally <coughs> excuse me legally organized mm -hmm. so in other words when you register marriage yeah. it gives you legal proof legality your marriage is legal even if it is not registered mm -hmm. but you can't prove it it's like you sat your olive mm -hmm. but you've never got your certificate and you've never got your sleep yes, you know you sat olive yes. but you can't prove it you can't, prove you can't. You before, to, you, you, before you get the sleep, yes, you cannot. Prove. You finished university, you have no transcript, you have no certificate, mm. you can't prove it. But you have been at university. But it is almost useless because you can't prove it, you can't get a job, you can't do anything. You have a CV saying I have a degree, but you don't have to you have a paper which says you have a, what? a degree. So it's the same. Mm. You get married in a church, mm. you are married, but you can't prove it. In other words, the church certificate or the mosque certificate is not proof of marriage because that one is proof in heaven, not here on earth. Here on earth, if you want to be married on earth, like the Bible says, give to God what belongs to God and give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. So the biggest benefits of registration is it gives you proof, legal proof, and that is from where I derive all the other benefits. I mentioned them in passing. If you are traveling with your spouse anywhere out of this country, yes. you are definitely going to need to prove 
that which is your spouse. For the Muslims who go to Mecca, if you are going with your spouse for, for Hijja, you have to prove and you always have to come. So these days when people are going to, to, to work in the Middle East and everything, you have to either prove that you are married or you are single. And we again the people who issue with a single status letter, a certificate which proves that there is no marriage on record for you. So if you are going out even you yourself today and you are not married, but you're going to work, say, in the Middle East, because the Arabs are very, very strict. You are either married or not married. Or not married. So you either go with a certificate from here of marriage, mm. or with a certificate from here of single mm. status. The uh, uh, before we continue, the certificate of single, mm. what does it require for someone to get it? Does it require anything? Do you yes, it requires a few things. Okay. We need, first of all, you to swear that you are single. We need one of your parents to swear because in African culture you cannot marry without your father or mother. One of them at least known. We shall also get the LC of your village where you, your parents stay because in, in African tradition, the marriage is a community event. You cannot have a church wedding without the village. No. So the LC will also say that you are not married. Your parents say you are not married. You, are also, not, you also swear that you are not married. We, have, we need a birth certificate to prove that that is your parent. Yes. Then we shall search mm. our records yes. to make sure that your record does not exist on the national what? Mm. After that, we can issue <coughs> a letter of single status. How long does it take to process each of these documents, both the registering the marriage and then getting the final? Most of uh, like the, the single status letter is a two-day affair. You bring your documents, tomorrow you pick up or send it to your email. Now for church filing or registration of marriages, it is online. The churches have been trained, they have been given accounts on our system. So when you get married for you don't know you walk away. But behind the secretary will enter the details into the system, we shall see it this way, we shall approve and they will print off acknowledgements for you, the other yeah. side. So that means couples get the acknowledgements from the churches, from the churches yes. or the mosques? Yes, because we have put a, an online system for the church. Some churches are not yet on the system because they have not been filing. Some churches are not even licensed. They are like schools without your name center numbers. And yet they are waiting people. Now those ones definitely cannot get acknowledgement that you cannot register marriages. And that marriage which is celebrated in a church which does not have a license, mm. in the law is null and void. In heaven it's okay, you are married. But here, if you ever want to travel, but then you tell me that you recover or some place. Mm. I don't want to travel, well, so what do I need to register my marriage? Um, this is something which we don't normally talk about at weddings, but which is the truth. All of us are going to die one day. And I think the biggest thing you're seeing now is wrangling over property. And in chasing away the wife because the man and you take the children and say this is our land. Mm. Now the only proof which will enable you to remain in the estate of the deceased is if you are a legal spouse. spouse. If you go to the administrator you know, mm. and you say I want this house or this land mm. or this car because it was my husband's property, I need to look after the children, they will say bring the certificate yes, from the registry. Yes. Yes. Not the church. Because you see, Administrator General is not a bishop, he's not a priest. Mm. Administrator General is government. So government will look for the government certificate. Mm. If you go to the bank and you're getting a loan, mm. and that loan is supposed to be say, for the family house or for the family farm or estate, they are going to ask you for your wife's permission. Because a bank loan you money or to do that mortgage for a family project, mm. they will want to know who is going to be the owner in case you drop the dead. Okay. So they will ask for the wife's signature also. And then once you say this is my wife, they will say, uh huh, bring the marriage certificate. We don't want the side dish to be the one signing on this. Yes. Property. Okay. So there are so many things. Insurance, mm. medical insurance, all insurance. When you go into there and you say, My wife, NSSF, now they are going to give people money of NSSF. People have passed away, and that NSSF money should be going to the spouse. The spouse. Mm. Yeah. Well, for you to be saying you are a spouse, you better show that your marriage is registered. Have there been any challenges 
pointed out by different couples on why they have failed to register their marriages? The biggest challenge has been knowledge, which is why we are grateful to you that you are helping us to spread the message. People don't know. They, they have, we have all been brought up, you go to church, you get married. You know? Even when we go for Kwanjura Kingra, we say from here we are going to the church. So that is what we know. People don't know that that is good for heaven. But it is it has no effect on the legal regime, which is purely Caesar. So it is very good for heaven, but it is not useful for Caesar. So it, the biggest problem has been knowledge. People just don't have the knowledge. Once people have the knowledge, they respond. Even the churches, the duty bearers themselves, the churches didn't know. For a long time, the churches didn't know that they have to say the time. They say, well, for us, we are waiting according to God, finished. So knowledge is the first thing we have found as a challenge and getting the awareness message out. Secondly, some people, the money, in the village, 35,000 is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. uh, thirdly, uh, resistance, people don't, are not used to this. It, is, it is, appears new, but the law is 1906, so it is really an old law. Can a couple mm -hmm. register the marriage themselves without coming physically to where it's big offices? First of all, in the law, it's the church which is supposed to register. Okay. Because it's the school which registered you, who you name. Yeah. No, it's the, it's the church we give the license, it's the church we have on the system. Yes. But because of what I've told you about resistance and people not knowing, mm. some people find that they have the churches didn't file and yet they need proof. So we allow an individual to go to the church, get the form, mm. but the church must give that individual a cover letter to prove that this is coming from the church. Because for us we are going to file you against that church. That's why you cannot just come from the blue and blue. We have to do it from the church. So the church must give you a cover letter. Then you can send all those things. After you've made the payments in the bank, you can send those things to marriages at urs.gov.uk. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yes, sir. To all Ugandans that are out there, any last word you have for everyone who is watching the, today's program? Any last words? Yes, my last word would be, please register your marriage. Fortunately, the law has no limit to when you can register the marriage. You can register the marriage even if it is 50 years old. As long as the record is there in the church, they will transfer it to the form F, give you a cover letter, and register it. So don't say, but my marriage is very old now, what am I going to do? Please register your marriage, whether it is free. If you are just getting married, ensure the church is licensed and ensure the church files the returns. There are headmasters who eat people's money and the children, they don't register the children with their name. I don't want to say that their church is going to do the same, but it's possible. Make sure you get this, the acknowledgement sleep after your marriage. Thank you very much. After listening to that gentleman from URSB about why Ugandans you should register your marriages, for as little as 70,000, you can do the registration and the certification. You can reach out to the different branches or offices from URSB. And as a Ugandan, are you from Karali? Are you from Mbali? Masaka? Rengo? Mukono? You need to register your marriage as a Ugandan. You have heard some of the benefits on why you should register your marriage and the disadvantages of you not registering your marriage. Thank you for all those that have been watching today's special program on why we should register your marriages. I'm your host, Degwesha Sayunite. Follow us on our different platforms. On Facebook, we are Prince TV. YouTube, we are Prince Media Television. And those on TikTok, we are Prince Media Television. Fellow Ugandans, register your marriages.